hello guys welcome to this video yeah so in this video i'll be showing you guys how to use the perspective tool in pixel app is very good for you to place your designs on mockups for example i'll get into my design application i'll get into my pixel app for example how i place this design like this on this mockup so apparently you can see that's the mockup i downloaded and then the design was on it like that so let's start from scratch first i'll delete everything let me give my background a white color i'm not really pointing out these things before these are things you guys can do so i'll import the mock-up i want to use which happens to be this mock-up this picture and then i make it to be big on my screen we're trying i'll try to make two use two videos two uh, examples for this sorry and then i will lock it to make sure i don't disturb it first let me place it rightly properly okay so i will lock it so then i get the design i want to place it so you have to also make sure your design almost have a, a similar shape or size to the mock-up the billboard you can see it's not really a square design so i can maybe use this design or the other one i used before yeah or this one so you see this design is actually straight and the billboard is slanted so this is where the perspective tool comes in it's very handy for stuff like this so highlight your design you want to put on the billboard see it's uh, movable so it's highlighted and then scroll through your editing options and look for perspective so hi we found it right here that's perspective okay now when you click on spec this perspective tool you have these edges the edges of your design are going to be highlighted like that now you turn on the perspective tool here turn it on it's off turn it on and then you will use the edges these edges to control how you want your design to be and you will see the effect but first things first i forgot something let's go back a little bit please reduce the opacity of your design so you can see through so that you can actually see the billboard behind so you know how you will place it okay you can put it like 30 percent excuse me put it like 30 percent and then now you go to your perspective to turn it on so i'll take i'll work on the edges i'll use these edges to place my design the way i want while i do that you see how touch on each edge and you shift it for the alignment so you see that for you to make it a little bit transparent is to help you follow the alignment of the billboard is very important you have to do that so something like this and each time you do you can you have to check to see if you've done your job right by clicking by clicking good and then you add your opacity to see if it fits properly if not you go back to your perspective too and correct it does it fit properly a little bit so we've used this design and now we place it on the mock-up in a way that it looks real okay that's an important Apple perspective too so i want us to do another example very quick and very rushed so i can just import something new a new mock-up let me just close everything like i want to just like close everything even the ones that were behind a new mock-up like this and i lock it in i import a new design that I would love to place on this mock-up uh, so I'll go straight to my pixel app and I'll 
take this design that I did for hamburger or whatever yeah so I reduce the opacity so I can see through the design is I can see through it now and then I go to my perspective to remember I locked the mock-up to avoid me from touching it and displacing it turn it on I use the edges to control it to where I want it to be so making your design transparent is very important it's very very important so as you can see I'm trying to make it fit so all these things you have to be careful because it's not really like that easy so it depends of on how your mock-up is how slanted your mock-up is so you make sure you follow the alignment very well please you can see that's what I'm trying to do if you're having issues what you can do is you zoom your pixel up to the particular or to the specific end that you want and then you control it see you control it properly make sure it align the way you want so you, the zoom button is always there to help you make sure you use it please 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 make sure you use your zoom button so this is not very bad and then you can zoom back in go to the next edge go to the next edge and then you try to make it work you zoom in zoom out go to the next so this is the best way to make sure you correct all those mistakes click on zoom zoom in on the next edge you click on zoom again sorry you zoom on the next edge like this click on the zoom button to work and then you control it like that okay now I want to bring everything back to 100% and I click good so I'll go back now to my opacity and I increase the opacity of my design back to 100 so how does it look you can zoom in to see if there are any errors you can actually lock the design so that you might not touch it to have issues zoom in now if you look closely there's a little bit of a problem up here the yellow board is showing a little bit so you have to correct that so zoom back highlight your design go again to your perspective tool reason why this thing needs time and you need to actually be patient if you want to do a good job go back to your perspective tool and do it properly see zoom back in go to the next part click on zoom so you can work properly So you make sure you do your best to make it look good guys so that's just all about the perspective tool it's an amazing tool for you to place designs on mock-up no matter how slanted they may be so as you look at it now you can see that this design actually looks like it's on that billboard okay so first i have to correct this little spot it's a little bit slanted here oh sorry about that this spot is a little bit yellow, yellow background is showing a little bit so I just have to correct this a little just a little like that make it worse a little like that
just make sure you get just the right alignment okay guys so perfect so that's all for this video guys so thanks for watching i hope you learn how to use this tool properly because i might as well you know done one or two mistakes but you make sure you try your best to have your alignment taken properly so how does it look so that's just all for the perspective tool guys that's all you need to know about this tool use it to place your mock-ups on uh, or your designs on your mock-up sorry it's very 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 helpful very helpful because there are some designs that your 3d 3d might not really work on it your 3d rotation cannot help you to make it look the way you want so perspective got you covered never forget that if your 3d cannot really make out the proper rotation you want then you have to rely on the perspective too guys so anyway thank you guys for watching and uh, see you in the next video